It's our story. But somehow, it's on the green monologue project on Dodo TV. I'd like to share it through life story from the northern part of Nigeria. Like I said, it's our story. But in many ways, it's our story too. Amina was a young girl born in the northern part of Nigeria. She was bright, curious, and full of energy. Her parents were farmers and had six other children to raise, so there was little time to focus on Amina's education. Ah, despite the challenges, Amina was determined to learn. She would often sneak away from her chores to read books and practice her writing. She was hungry for knowledge and wanted more for herself. Ah. One day, a teacher from the nearby village came to her village. Amina begged her parents to let her attend, but they couldn't afford the fees. Undeterred, Amina continued to study on her own. She would listen to radio to learn about the world and practice her math skills by counting the crops her parents had harvested. As she grew older, Amina continued to face new challenges. Many girls in her village were married up at a young age, but Amina continued to stay focused. She refused to give up on her dreams. She wanted to become a doctor so that she can help people in her community. Against all odds, Amina had work paid off. She gained scholarship and was able to attend school through scholarship and she excelled in her studies. Amina went on to graduate from college and became a doctor just as she has always dreamt of. Today, Amina is a successful physician and advocate of girl education in Nigeria. Wow! Amina believes that every girl deserves to learn no matter where she is from. Today, Amina's story is a reminder that with determination and hard work, you can become anything and anything is possible.